What's up guys? Let's talk a little bit about identity shifting. Lately, I've been watching some videos about that topic and there is one video by Shonimoto that actually made me rethink about that concept of identity shifting. And I want to share it with you. So there is an analogy of a snake, like a snake changes its skin every now and then, and it becomes a whole new snake, I guess. But there is a better analogy. A worm goes into its cocoon and it turns into a butterfly. The worm is not afraid to die to its own self. The worm dies, but a butterfly is emerging. Like a butterfly comes out of that cocoon. The worm knows that when she goes in there, what will come out of that cocoon is not the same as what entered it. So the worm like got no problem with that. So why are you having problems with accepting the idea that you have to change? You have to change. You have to leave and let go of the old personality. And you gotta just embody the new personality, that new person, that new being. You have to have that inner conviction that this is the right thing. Because let me tell you a story. For the longest time, I've been insecure about certain things, right? So, for example, I couldn't talk in front of a camera for a long time. Now I have a YouTube channel. How did that happen? For the longest time, I've been insecure about my looks. You might be like shocked right now because I get a lot of comments like, you're handsome, you're cute, you're this, you're that. Believe me, when your inner like convictions and beliefs are contradicting what's going on in the real life, then you'll have that imposter syndrome. Like people can say you are handsome, you are this, you are that. But if you don't believe it, you will be just like, are they lying to me? <laughs> I've been like that for a long time. Like, are these people lying to me? Or am I really that good looking? And I can talk in front of a camera and whatnot. But until I changed my concept of myself, everything was just going south. Not a thing was going well regarding talking in front of a camera until I changed my conception of myself. When I talk in front of a camera now, I embody the state of being good in front of a camera, of being a good looking guy, of being good while talking to people. This is what it's all about. It's about actually being in that state that you are that person. You are like letting go of that old personality and you are embodying a new state. You're not afraid to be that new person because if you want to do something new, and you are still in the same old avatar, you'll not get into that place that you want to go. You will not be that person that you want to be because you are still carrying baggage from the past. You are still believing in things that don't serve you. These things don't serve you anymore. Maybe it served you to survive when you were a child, maybe, but let me tell you something, it's not serving you right now and it won't serve you in the future. you got to let go of these things right now. Once you do it, everything changes. This is how it works, guys. This is how it works. You have to hypnotize yourself that you are a new person. You have a new personality. You're not that old person anymore. You're not that old personality. You're not that old avatar. You have a new avatar now. Like you are in the game and you are leveling up each level until we meet the final boss which actually is your best version that you can be so each time you get a level up you are actually acquiring new things and you're becoming a new person right so this is actually true this is actually the best analogy that you can find is when you are leveling up you are getting like maybe new armor you are letting go of the weak things and you are acquiring new, stronger things. This is going to help you to understand what is identity shifting. When you wake up and you are convinced that you are a new person, everything around you will change. Remember, physical reality is just a mirror. When you smile, it smiles back. So 
if you think that you will tackle the 3D hologram with your old personality that is telling you that you are not good enough, that you don't have to be happy, you don't need money, all that garbage that you just carried for so long to survive when you were young, then you will not go anywhere. You will stay where you at and you will wonder what's going on with you. Believe me, this is the truth. You've got to change internally first. You've got to be someone else to get somewhere else. This is the truth, guys. I want to tell you something. For the longest time, I've been afraid of success. Why? Because for some reason, and I think many people can relate to that, for some reason, I feel like I would be feeling guilty if I succeed at something. Like, for the longest time, when I go on a vacation, I would be so like guilty of going there because there are people that are homeless and whatnot. When this is this has nothing to do with me, but for some reason, there is a belief in me that been embedded in me in my subconscious mind that I should be feeling guilty about those people and not having fun at all and be like sad and whatnot because this apparently my old belief was telling me that this is the right thing to do when in reality this is the worst thing to do this is the worst thing to do you've got to look at what beliefs are serving you and what beliefs are not because if you don't it will just direct your life and you will call it fate until you make the unconscious conscious it will just direct your life and you'll call it fate Carl Jung actually talked about it. This is a quote from him. This is an amazing quote because you have to see what is blocking you, what is blocking your manifestations, what is actually going on inside of you, what happened, what is your limiting belief that is holding you back so tight. You gotta let that go. You gotta let go of that. How are you gonna do that? It's actually like right now when we understood how metaphysics work and how quantum leaping works and everything. Now we can actually change that. Neville talked about it. Joseph Murphy talked about it. Every great teacher talked about it. Every great teacher. All the religions actually talked about it. If you are a religious person, whether you are a Jew, a Muslim, a Christian, whatever it might be, you have that in your scripture. you got to change first until everything around you change. You gotta change first and consequently when you do that everything around you will change but first you have to start with you you are the starting point once you are finished with changing the conception of yourself you will look around you and be like wow everything changed effortlessly this is the key to it this is the key to it guys so i want to tell you how you can actually change that belief how you can be another person, identity shifting, how does that work? We're going to talk about that. Right now, I'm going to tell you something. The subconscious mind is suggestible to programming at two times. First, when you wake up in the morning. Second, before you go to sleep. At this time, especially before going to sleep, you are performing at alpha and theta brainwave states. These brainwave states are actually like hypnosis. You can hypnotize yourself. You can do it easily. It's so easy to do. How are you going to do that? There are many ways. You can just like listen to tapes like subliminals and whatnot that telling you, listen to affirmations. You can just visualize. But here is my favorite method. It's called SATS or State Akin to Sleep. It was introduced by Neville Goddard and way before that by many people. So let's talk about it. How you're gonna do that is pretty simple. You gotta sit down or lay down in a slightly uncomfortable position. First, you're gonna close your eyes and then you are going to focus on each body part. First, your scalp, then your forehead, then each body part until you go to your toes. After that, you're gonna count down from 20 to one. And between each number, you're gonna wait for one second, like 20. 19, 18, etc. After you reach the count of one, you're going to say to yourself, now I am at a deeper, healthier level of mind. This is from the Selva method, by the way. 
After you are done with that, you are at alpha brainwave state. At this time, you can ask yourself, how would I feel now if I am the person that I would love to be? How would I feel now in this moment? Not in the future, not in the past, right now. How would I feel now? How am I feeling now that everything I ever wanted is a fact? How am I feeling now knowing that I am the best version of myself and I have everything I ever wanted? How am I feeling now? Let yourself and let your mind wander to get that feeling state, conjure up that feeling. And once you do have that feeling, you will start to get images in your brain, in your imagination. Live in these images. Live in them, like in the first person, like you are watching your own hands right now. Live in them. Once you do it, you're going to fall asleep peacefully. Peacefully, without anything. You are just going to fall asleep in the feeling of the wish fulfilled. You're going to fall asleep, and in the next morning, you will wake up under compulsion to do certain things that will match the frequency of that identity that you conjured up. Like you are now a new person. He's going to do new things. That person is going to do new things. So when you actually wake up the next day, you will be under compulsion to go to certain places, meet certain people that you wouldn't normally meet, do certain things you wouldn't normally do. And brace yourself because you're going to find amazing circumstances around you that will lead you to be always that best version of yourself. So try it, try it for seven nights. Maybe try it every day. Maybe try it for, for like as long as it takes. I'm telling you seven nights because usually people like to hear like, how many days should I do it? You do it as long as it takes. It doesn't matter. I'm just telling you that because some analytical left brain thinker right now is telling me, how many days should I do it? Man, you lived your whole life with an old personality and you can shift in an instant but you are now asking again how many days should I do you can change now now in this moment but you won't believe it so it won't happen if you don't believe it so I'm giving you seven days to see for yourself so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did subscribe to the channel like to reach more people tell me down below in the comments what do you think and what you want to see next and until next time I will see you soon